So guys, for the first step, we're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're gonna run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Once you're on it, you wanna copy and paste these six commands into CMD. I'm gonna type out the first one for you. All these commands will be down below in the description. So for the first one, it's ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. Then you just wanna copy and paste all the next ones. If it asks you to restart the computer, don't restart it yet until you complete all the other steps in this video. But once you copy and paste all these six commands, then we'll move on to step two. For the next step, we're gonna head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Once you're on this, you wanna find either Ethernet or Wi-Fi, no matter which one you have, you wanna double click on it and then click on properties. Then you wanna click on internet protocol version four. You wanna make sure that use the following DNS server address has been ticked. You want to make the first line 8888 and you wanna make the second line 8844 and then click on okay. For the next step, we're gonna head over to search and type in services, click on it. Once you're on this, we're gonna click on any service and click on X on our keyboard, which will bring us down to the very bottom. And then for everything that says Xbox on it, you wanna double click on it and then change the startup type to automatic and then click on start and then click on okay. You wanna repeat this for Xbox Live Auth Manager, Xbox Live Game Save and Xbox Live Networking Service. Do this for all four of these. For the next step, we're gonna head over to search and type in Microsoft Store. We're gonna right click on it and then click on app settings. Then we're gonna scroll down to the very bottom and then click on reset and then click on reset again. Once you reset this and you complete all the other steps in the video, you wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 